Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with a brand new Let's Play. We have Pokemon Yellow version, or aka Pikachu version. Anyways, let's go to the options. Let's turn up that. And there we go. Let's go into a new game. Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Well, since we are Nostalgia Scott, we obviously go by the name Scott, like totes my goats, duh. Right, so your name is Scott. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby, despite babies not having rivals. Um, what is his name again? Um, what is our rival? Um, I guess, technically speaking, the, the rival to nostalgia is modern, right? I guess his name is modern. Scott, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go, it's a me Mario. And just like that, we're in the game. Now, which button is it to... Um... Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. I thought there was a button on here to change it full screen, but whatever. Goodbye, mother. I'm going to leave town because I'm a stupid kid. Don't go! But why not? I want to go. It's, it's fun to go out into the tall grass. Oh no, it's a wild Pokemon alert. Oh no, it's a thing that goes Pika. Like in the anime for some reason. I guess you're gonna catch it in one Pokeball? You're a maniac, Professor Oak. A Pokemon can appear any time in tall grass, but who said this grass is tall despite it going up to my eyeballs? I guess the grass is tall, right? Yeah, you're fed up with waiting? I think everybody's fed up with waiting. Still, I'm kinda disappointed because I went to record some more Spyro 2 for the Game Boy Advance, and... You know, the issue was that, uh, there's a game-breaking bug in it, and... Yeah, everything's kinda ruined, so we're probably gonna have to skip the level that I went to. I guess we have to grab this Pokeball. No, unless Modern's just like, how about no, Nostalgia loses. Plus it's a Pokemon that I don't even really care for, so that's a good thing. You're gonna give him one anyway, huh? It's not tame yet. Oh, it's a Pikachu! And in normal fashion, we have to nickname our Pokemon, so... It's an electric mouse, so let's name it... Uh, let's name it Linguini. Lin... Uh... God, get... There we go. Linguini! Oh, and I guess that's it, huh? Oh. We gotta battle our Pokemon! Let's go, Modern! Let's have a modern-day Pokemon battle! Oh no, it's an Eevee! I feel like everything's slightly delayed, but it's just because the sound effect I have in the... Since I changed it to the headset one, it sounds different. I've never played the Game Boy with the headset, uh... 
volume setting on. It's using Growl despite me using special attacks. And it's paralyzed. And it's fully paralyzed. Yay! And just like that, we got to level 6. And learned Tail Whip, despite only having Thundershock as an attack. Yay, for moves that lower defense, despite being specially offensive. You're gonna fight to toughen it up, huh? What? Would you look at that? Your Pikachu dislikes Pokeballs. Why is it odd? We're forcing Pokemon into Pokeballs. Who said they even liked being in Pokeballs? Did anyone else ever say that? Well, I guess we're leaving town, because who needs a town map when you're a Pikachu destroyer? Pretty sure this guy's the one that works at the Pokemon Mart. Yep, he's gonna give us a potion. Most Pokemon games have a guy who give you a potion who gives you a potion right away, but Oh, it's Smidgems. Hello, Smidgems. It's a level 6 Pidgey, though. Holy cow. Good thing we have Thundershock, which is super effective. And we... That's a th that's like a critical hit, like, almost every single time. That's crazy. Do we have hacks on or something? Okay, that time it wasn't a critical hit. And thing is, we can't catch any Pokemon yet, so don't think we can catch anything. No, might as well get up another level before we head into the next town, so let's see what we got. A Rotata! Hello, Rotata. You're about to be Pikachu. Jeez Louise! That's another crit yet again! This Pikachu is like overpowered, holy cow. That's not even a level up game. Come on, give us a level up. Give us a Pidgey, because we're super effective against Pidgey. It's the dreaded Rattata again. Oh, let's nuke it. Oh, it, 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 it failed to kill us. Really? It's still not up a level? This is ridiculous. Also, what's with the Rotatas, man? This one's only level 2. Pikachu, destroy this random level 2 Rotata. It failed Tail Whip. It's funny how so many moves in this generation can fail. Oh my lord. Pikachu, you are one fat boy if you need that much XP. Holy Jaleesius. Please be level 6, Pidgey. No, you're level 3, Pidgey. We're probably gonna one-shot a level 3, Pidgey, because level 3, Pidgey is wussy. Yeah, look, we one-shot the level 3, Pidgey. And there we go, now we're level 7. Perfect. Now we're strong enough to go to the next town. Let's go. I love how it's slightly changed color, just like ever so slightly. So these are Pokemon centers. You can just talk to Nurse Joy here, and she will happily heal up your Pokemon. Which is a super nice feature in any Pokemon game, though, despite Nurse Joy not technically being in every Pokemon game. She's at least in this game. So that's a thing. And we need to go to the Pokemon Mart, despite I don't think it actually telling you where you're supposed to go in this game. Yay, we came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? And just like that, you get his parcel. It's really kind of awkward. It's just super weird. Like, when people say, like, the old games had better stories and stuff, you look at it and go, there's literally no story to this game. Like, there is. But there isn't. Like, if you were to compare, like, Sun and Moon, or Sword and Shield, or even X and Y to it, you'd be like, well, there's way less of a story, you know? Anyways, let's go give him the parcel, and he should eventually give us the Pokedex. This is a good time to have a drink, since we're talking to Professor Schmoke here. There we go, we delivered his parcel. Custom Pokeball. I wonder what the custom Pokeball is, though, exactly. Gramps. Ah, 
high tech encyclopedia, yay! Now we have a Pokedex, which is not something we're gonna complete. Some people complete them in their playthroughs, but it's physically impossible since they don't have anybody to trade with the other game, so. Not gonna be something that we can do. Oh, never mind, we couldn't get the town map till now. So how you get the town map, even though it takes up room in this game, is you go to Gary's sister's place here, or in our case, Modern, and you talk to her, and she gives us the town map. And then you can use it to figure out where you are, but let's be real, if you've played this game once or twice, you pretty much know where you're going. Now let's take as many shortcuts through this grass as humanly possible. That way we don't get too many encounters, because apparently Pikachu takes forever to level up, and these things are just not worth the XP. Though, we will need something for the first gym. Because the first gym is going to be ground type. Not rock type like they think. It's, he says he's a rock type gym leader, but he's, the gym actually is more ground Pokemon than anything. Also, fun fact, if you don't cut down this tree, and you go up here, you can talk to this tree, and get a free potion. Such a random item, but, you know, it's a free item nonetheless. And we do have a new route over here, with some pretty darn good epic music, and we can find some new Pokemon in here. Including the rare Nidoran female level 2, but I don't know if I want a level 2. That seems honestly kind of weak. Like, it's pretty good defensively, but it's not very good offensively. So I don't think we want to train it at, from level 2, because, god, I don't think we'd ever level it up at that point. We have Nidoran female again, or is this going to be the only level we can catch it? Oh, wait a minute, I just realized something. I don't think we have Pokeballs yet, do we? I don't think I bought Pokeballs. No, we, we can't even catch it anyway, we have to go buy Pokeballs, silly. Silly me. Well, let's go get Pokeballs before we get too invested in it. One thing I liked about this game, though, is how every town slightly changes color depending on, like, what the town's name is. Because all the towns in this game are named after colors. Hello. I'd like to buy... $3,000 worth of your finest Pokeballs, please. No, I don't want to buy anything else. Leave me alone. We can go this way, again, and see if we can actually catch a Nidoran this time. My only gripe about this game is how slow you walk, it's ridiculous. Alright, give me something good in here. Hey, it's Nidoran again. Oh, it's level 4, that's way better. Alright, use Growl, so let's use the Pokeball on it now and see if we can capture it. And there we go! Nidoran female is ours. A mild-mannered Pokemon that does not like to fight. Beware its small horns secrete venom. And since this one is a female-specific Pokemon, let's name it... Queen. And now I guess before we end the episode, I guess we could technically train up Queen. Because she's going to learn a move that we do need to fight the gym. Now, unlike the other Pokemon games, because the first gym is rock slash ground type, right? It's listed as rock despite, in all the games, all the Pokemon also being ground type, so... It's actually more of a ground gym than a rock gym, like I mentioned before, but Pikachu doesn't learn anything to fight rock types, like Geodude and Onyx. So we need something that learns something, and lo and behold, Nidoran gets double kick. Specifically, I think both of them get double kick, but I think you can only get the female one here in this game. I don't think you can actually get the male one yet. I could be wrong, though, but anyways, let's see what we got. 
Pidgey level 2. Do not ask me what this Pokemon is supposed to be, though, because this Pokemon looks ridiculous from behind. We all know it's like a mouse Pokemon, but it looks redonkulous. But the fact that a level 2 is almost doing as much as a level 4 is kinda sad. Like, we should have the clear advantage here just based on level alone, but according to stats, despite Pidgey actually being a really weak Pokemon, that's not so much the case now, is it? Alright, let's finish off this Pidgey. Alright, and I'll use up a potion. And yeah, we'll continue back to our training. Continue back with the training. Continue with our training. The legendary Rotata level 2 now. Oh yeah, and Tackle doesn't have 100% accuracy, and I think the first four gems or something like that. Also, this Rotata. Wow, it actually outspeeds us sometimes. Sheesh, we have a speed tie then. Luckily, it failed that attack. Ah, we got the. That wasn't a crit. That was just a high damage roll, I guess. Yeah, there's only two Pokemon here Pidgeys and Rattatas, which is why it's a great place to train your beginning Pokemon. Oh my god, that thing does way more damage than we do. Like, look at that. We do, like, next to nothing. Oh yeah, and Gust in this game is normal type, not flying like it is later on. So if you're wondering why that's doing neutral damage to Pikachu, now you know why. There we go. Queen's now level 5. Queen is slightly stronger, despite not being very strong to begin with. Ah, level 3 of Pidgey again. Bring it, smidgens. We can beat you now. We are all mighty. Nope, it still does three full points of damage to us, despite being... Eh, whatever. This is ridiculous, man. Goodbye, Pikachu. Or, goodbye Pikachu, goodbye Pidgey, yeah, goodbye Pikachu. We just lost my Pokemon, man. I hope I didn't. This be like level 6, level 4 is fine, because it's more XP. But man, we're gonna need some better ways to train this Pokemon, because it is not doing very good right now. I wonder if the Pokemon on the other route will give us more XP though. And one shot the level 4 Pidgey. We'll probably train her up one more level at least, and then we'll go and deal with like a little tutorial that we have to do, and then probably get to the next zone and end the episode there. Um, let's see here. It's just a level 2 Rattata. It still does 2 damage to Pikachu. That may not sound like a lot, but when you only have 23 HP, that is quite substantial. And looks like it only went for the tail whip, so we should be fine. Rattata down for the count, and that was only a literal 8 XP. That's not very good XP if you think about it, 8 XP. Oh my god, a level 4 Pidgey. This is it, boys. Let's do this. Well, actually, girl and genderless Pikachu. Only two Pokemon in this game actually have specific genders. Well, I guess technically six if you include their evolutions and stuff. There we go, we got a level six. Please learn a new move. Nope, she didn't learn a new move, but luckily now we can go and do the tutorial. Luckily, she won't have an issue with the forest coming up because she should be immune to poison because she's a poison type. But, you know, this game was so buggy back in the day that, you know, things don't always work like that. Alright, heal up her Pokemon, thank you very much. The Chansey next to Nurse Joy looks like it's like some kind of weird, creepy ghost thing. One thing you can't skip is the tutorial right up here. 
Yeah, he'll cut you off, and now that he had his coffee, he'll feel great. So now we have to, uh... Yeah, I believe in one of the games you can actually say no, but in this game, not so much. You have to watch this old man catch a Rattata. I believe, yeah, it even says old man through a Pokeball. I think in one of the games it breaks out too. Oh, it breaks out in this one. Yeah, it's funny. Like, it's so pointless, but whatever. Music here is so campy and cute, but everybody loves it so. And this is the gate to the Viridian Forest. Are you going to the Viridian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural maze. Yo, you have room to get the far with all kinds of Pokemon. Alright, we're in Viridian Forest. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and in the next episode, we will be exploring Viridian Forest. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.